One of the most important things is the pronunciation because if you pronounce Kunumkant on the similar way, you're not, you're not going to understand or the listener is not uh, going to understand what you're saying. So the most important thing is to stress the correct word. For example, if we have the affirmative form, what you're going to do is to stress the verb. Yes, and if you have a negative form, what you're going to do is to stress the, the negative one that is can't. And if you have a question, you don't pronounce can, you, you say can, can, really short. And what you're going to do is to stress the verb again. So, um, okay, and here you stress both. Okay, so attention. Listen, please. Listen and repeat. I can run. I can run. So see that I don't say can, I say can, can, or like this. So I say, I can run, I can run, I can run, okay? I can run. And the negative, I say, I can't run, I can't run, I can't run, okay? So affirmative, I can run. Negative, I can't run. The pronunciation is a boring R. You have to do R. So you say, I can't run, I can't run. Okay? And then in the question, again, you have to say, can, can you run? Can you run? Can you run? Yes, I can. No, I can't. So here you stress both words. One more time. I can run. I can't run. Can you run? Yes, I can. No, I can't. Okay, so the idea is to repeat over and over again so you uh, get the way you have to pronounce it well. Uh, let's shift the, the verb. Instead of run, we are going to use speak English. So, come on, let's do it in the affirmative form. I say, I can speak English. I can speak English. Negative. I can't speak English. I can't speak English. Question. Can you speak English? Question. Can you speak English? Yes, I can. No, I can't. Okay? So please try to do that so you understand when a person is saying the uh, like ability. Yes, if, if the person is talking about an affirmative ability or, or a negative ability. This is really important. Okay? So try to practice.